In today's video, I'm not just going to show you one useful feature in Windows 10, I'm going to show you five. Now before I go into the content, if you haven't already, then please click subscribe. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Get into the zone with Focus Assist. I don't know about you, but I'm easily distracted. Whenever I get a new email, I click on it, reply, then I start checking my inbox. And then I might get an instant message from Microsoft Teams. So I start going into Microsoft Teams. And before I know it, I'm lost down the rabbit hole, losing track of time. So whenever I want to get into the zone, I put on my music and I switch off all notifications using Focus Assist. Focus on your work and switch off all notifications. You can do this by going down here. And there's a great little feature called Focus Assist. So if I click on Focus Assist, it's now switched to Priority Only. To configure the settings for Focus Assist, just simply right click and then go to Settings. Under the Focus Assist settings, you have a, a range of rules that are automatically switched on. So whenever you're duplicating your screen, playing a game or in full screen mode, such as a presentation, automatically you won't get any notifications. If you wanted to, you can set the time when the notifications will be switched off. So you've got during these times, and if I tap on here, switch it on, and then from here I can set the time of when the notifications will be switched off. So maybe certain hours in the mornings, I do not want to be disturbed, I just want to focus on my work, so I can do the settings here. You can also choose when this repeats, you can choose the focus level. Other options to point out here, I can set it to priority only. And when I click on customize your priority list, to under contacts, I could add my managers because I don't want to miss out on an email notification from them. Take paste into a whole new level with clipboard history. Have you ever wanted to paste in something that you had copied in earlier? In Windows 10, there's a great feature called clipboard history, which allows you to paste in information you had copied earlier in the day. And here's how. You need to switch it on. And to do this, just press Windows V and click Turn On. And what will happen as you copy information throughout the day, it will then save into this clipboard. And whenever you want to go back to your clipboard history and paste something in from earlier in the day, just simply press Windows V and it will bring up all your copied items. And from here, all it is is a matter of clicking and it will just paste it in for you. So just Windows V and just select what you want to paste in. Screen capture with snip and sketch. Gone are the days when we would need a screenshot, we would press print screen and then go into paint to save it. With Windows 10, we have snip and sketch, which makes the job so much easier. And here's how. Click start, type in snip. And from here, you can capture your screen by clicking on new. And you've got four options to choose from on this screen. So you can make your selection. You can use the lasso tool. You can capture the whole window or capture the full screen. By clicking here, you will also have options to delay the snip. So you can delay the snip by three or 10 seconds. This just allows you to get your screen set up before taking the snip, so you can delay it. You also have various annotation tools and you also have the option to crop. Next, you can either click save to save your image, or you can copy it and paste it into another document, such as an email. Tidy up your desktop with high desktop icons. If you have a busy desktop filled with icons and shortcuts, and you want to tidy these up before sharing your screen, then here's how. Just simply right click, go to view, and then deselect show desktop icons. And those des desktop items will disappear. Whenever you want them back, just simply right click, view and just bring them back. If you're one of those people that save your documents to the desktop, when you hide them, they'll still be available under Word and Excel when you want to open up a file. Minimize windows with Aereo Shake. Here's another useful option when you're about to share your screen. If you have loads of windows open and you just want to focus on the one window and minimize all the others, then try this. If you've got a lot of windows open and you're about to head into a video conference where you might be sharing your screen, uh, you can quickly minimize all the windows apart from 
the one that you want to keep open by simply giving it a shake. So you just click here, give it a shake, and then all the other windows will minimize. If you like your keyboard shortcuts, then just simply press Windows and Home, which will do the same thing. This is the video that I want you to see next, and this is what YouTube want you to see next. And if you haven't already, then please click subscribe. I will see you in the next video.